Here on the Sun Coast, flooding issues are a major concern for some people who live in Bradenton. A pair of 55 and older communities suffered damage from Hurricane Hermine a few weeks ago, and residents fear it could happen again. ABC 7's Rick Adams has more from Manatee County. Right now, the streets of Park Acres Estates and the Burgundy condos in Bradenton remain very calm. This was a scene a few weeks ago when floodwaters from Hurricane Hermine filled the roads. Dozens of units at Burgundy were a complete loss, while some folks in Park Acres Estates suffered extensive damage to their home and belongings. Being a native Floridian, you get used to this kind of stuff. You know, you just hope that nobody loses. You're going to lie for anything. It, material things you can replace. One person who won't get used to this flooding is Mary McCoy, a resident of Park Acres Estates for many years. She tells us it becomes a very dangerous situation for people in this 55 and older community. Along with being scary and frustrated, um, we have no way of shutting the streets down. A big part of the problem here at Park Acres Estates are these storm drains. When there's a significant weather event, these drains get backed up, and that's when the streets start to flood. Another part of the problem is Ware's Creek, which runs alongside the Burgundy condos. Once that's overflowing with storm water, it ends up in people's homes and in the streets. That water comes up quickly, and it just runs like a river. It's very swift. McCoy says she and others will continue to push for the county to fix the infrastructure so the stormwater will drain more efficiently. Also, she's hopeful that communities like hers will soon be eligible for FEMA funding.